can I offer one of you a, a little something? C'est quand même une période excitante pour Animo, oui. non? C'est une période, en fait, où il y a plein de changements, il y a plein de promesses, oui. il y a plein de, de possibilités, de projets. Mais c'est aussi une période où il faut faire euh, attention. I mean, the, the question is, I, I, I would cut it down only to say, in the transition, what, what, what is the most important point we should keep? And this is really the soul of the, of the orchestra and the idea of the orchestra. Uh, for me, it was always like, and I think for, for most of the people coming to Animo, was just playing, it was playing, of course, fantastic music and working with Joss was, is a pleasure and a very, very unique experience, I think. But the most important people are the people. Yeah. So when I came here, I knew with whom I'm going to play and I was really looking forward. And this is, this is the, the, like the, the soul of the orchestra. And um, this is one thing we really have to take care that we won't lose. Uh, up until now, we've had two things, the very clear and strong identity of Joss. Yeah and a surprisingly strong identity of the orchestra, a, a, an orchestra which has a, a more uh, specific sound and energy. And now that Joss is moving out of the picture, how is it possible to sustain the very specific identity of the orchestra or create a new identity of the orchestra? Well, you know what, it's funny because then we can go also to the, the question of how was the, the, the first encounter with Giovanni Antonini. Mm. What I was really surprised about and happy about was that, I mean, we know the orchestra, we know it has a very specific and, and beautiful, I find beautiful sound, really unique, I find. And uh, with uh, Giovanni Antonini, of course, he's a totally different personality than Jos. And um, what I really liked about how the orchestra was functioning and, and sounding was that, I, of course, I recognized Anima. It was Anima, but we were playing also totally different than from before within this beautiful sound. But th we had a, he, this man, of course, has a totally different energy than Jos. Mm -hmm. And he could transpose it to us, and so I found it a very, uh, yeah, new and inspiring way of of playing and 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 treating the music, still with this anima sound and identity, but yeah, uh, like unknown corners of our of our possibilities were okay, good, taken yeah. out. <laughs> and yeah, good, really yeah, nice. Yeah. I was really uh, impressed by that. And inspired, oh gosh, what an energy. With Midori, yeah, I had her and Beji Oak believed to say Guamal's concert master in the dad, and that was Oak, he'll find and he'll find men so metaverk and he'll find musicus. And I had to be able to do a lot of new things, he'll experiment in another way than with Jos. En toch, uh, ja, ik voelde heel erg dat, dat zij helemaal daarin ging. Dat is, zeg maar, uh, ja, en wat ik ook bijzonder vond was dat zij, dat de, 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 als je dan hebt, wij spreken over de anima klank. Dat is ook iets, dat is toch afhankelijk van degene die ervoor staat. Ik bedoel, als iemand zo doet of iemand zo doet, het is een, die krijgt een hele andere klank. En bij Midori was de klank overeenkomstig van wat ik, ja, wat je voelt bij Anima of wat je hoort bij Anima. En uh, uh, met andere dirigenten, ik ben heel benieuwd hoe het met Antonini ja, verder, hoe dat, hoe dat ja. zal, zal gaan. Echt, uh. En wat ik ook een heel mooi moment vond uh, dat uh, we aan het repeteren was, waren en Jos kwam luisteren en ja. zat in de zaal ja. en wij zaten op het podium uh, aan het werk met Giovanni ja. en Jos zat in de zaal met een ja, echt. grote smile. Ja, en oor tot oor, ja, dat was heel mooi. Het ja. voelde heel goed. 